one of the most frustrating um, situations and things um, that that you will encounter, that man or a woman will encounter, is when you have made plans, you have purpose in your heart to do or perform a certain thing or a certain act. But along the way to fulfilling what's in your heart and what's in your mind to do, distractions come, situations come, and circumstances come. And oftentimes, many of you who listen to me, you fight against frustration. You fight against frustration of that thing that's trying to distract, distract you, that's trying to stop you or get in the way of or delay uh, for you for fulfilling what it is that you've purposed in your heart, that God has put in your heart. And, but I will say, uh, fight the frustration. Fight the frustration because the purpose of the, the frustration is to get your mind also. Frustration also as well is a distraction. When you become angry, when you become upset, when you become frustrated. But what you need to do when this happens, you need to realize what's happening. Realize and understand what's taking place. And the thing that you need to understand is that our weapons of warfare are not carnal. They're not carnal, but they're mighty through God, through the tearing down and pulling down of strongholds. And that same God is in you. Even what Jesus told the disciples who was marveling at how the demons were subject to him. He said, uh, say, you know, I've given you the power. I've given you the power, but, but don't rejoice in that. But rejoice that your name is written in, in the Lamb's Book of Life. But the scripture says, God says, he told a disciple, when you speak to the mountain, when you speak to the wind, when you speak to the lay hands on the sick. And so oftentimes it's something that you're trying to get God to do. But God has already put the ability. God has already put the power into you to do it, to overcome it. The scripture says, God says, if you decree a thing. Now that's scripture. I will hasten to perform it. And so there's an acceleration within your spirit. But you must learn how to become unified within your spirit, within your mind, within your heart. And that comes also with what you listen to and what you allow to get in between your portals. And so your victory is in your focus. It's in your focus and realizing and understanding who's in you and the power that's in you. Hear me.